I am back again, but this time we are going to speak on some topic which is very well known to you. Number of subsets of a set, of course I am talking about a finite set. When we start studying sets at schools, during my times I didn't study sets at my normal maths course, but studied at my what is what was called additional maths uh, in West Bengal, in the West Bengal secondary board. Now, we are taught to count the number of subsets of a set, of a given set. Means if you have a set as finite number of elements, say 5 or 6 or 3 or 4, how many possible subsets are there? And most of you know, well, most of my viewers would know that if there are n subsets, sorry, I make a mistake, if there are n elements, then there are n subsets. There is 2, again, if there are n elements, there are 2 n subsets. And these subsets includes the whole set and empty set. Now, the question is, how do you prove this? The proof actually comes by a, the method of induction and by a simple application of the binomial theorem. Let me show you the method of proof which I enjoy. So, if, if when I remember learning it at school, at that age, we were not told about the method of induction or anything. So, we were told that, okay, take x equal to 1, 2, 3, a set, and look at the cardinality of x, how many numbers, pops, elements are there, there are three elements. So, what are the possible sets? So, one is the whole set, 1, 2, 3 itself, the empty set, 5, then 1 itself is a set, 2 itself is a set, 3 itself is a set. Then you combine 1 with 2, then 2 with 3 and 3 with 1, that is it. So, 3, 3, 6 to 8, so 8, so 2 to the power 3. So, in general, we must have 2 to the power n, which in, including the whole set and the empty set. Now, the question is if I have given to prove, so if I give you 4 elements, okay, it will be easier because you can follow the same technique and you can show me that there are 16 sets, 16 subsets. Now, what about the general set with n elements? Suppose I take a set x here and it has n elements x1, x2, x6, x7, x8, x9, x10, ultimately xn minus 1, xn. So, n is any number, it could be 4, it could be 5, it could be 1500 or anything. So, you can understand even if I have a finite number of subsets, sorry, finite number of elements, the number of subsets is massive. So massive that it is very difficult to imagine. So, you see how rapidly it grows because it is 2 to the power something, a kind of, it is an exponential growth and a very fast growth, right. So, if I have infinite sets, for example, if I have the set of natural numbers, okay, which is countable, but if you look at the set of all subsets, it is uncountable. Its cardinality is same as that of the set of real numbers. Now, let us try to prove this. Here we shall, shall use a method of induction. So, you can try for n equal to a set with two elements, a set with one element, a set with two elements, set with three elements, set with four elements and every time you get 2 to the power the number. So, you start with testing for some few simple finite sets with 2, 3, 4, 5 elements, but 5 will also be pretty large, 32 sets. Now, suppose I have to prove it for n elements, the general case. The method of induction tells the following. I will first test for few numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, maybe. And then I will assume that if there are n minus 1 elements, then the proposition holds that if there is a set with n minus 1 elements, then the total number of subsets is 2 to the power, 2 to the power n minus 1 with the whole set as well as the, uh, 
the whole set as well as the uh, empty set. So, with this assumption, I will now show that if I put one more element in the set, the number of subsets will become 2 to the power n. Basically, I basically then add 2 to the power n minus 1 more subsets by each addition of each element. Right. So, to if I have n minus 1 subsets, to, to n minus 1 elements to have 2 to the power n minus 1 subsets already. And if I add one more element, one more element, I have to add another 2 to the power n minus 1 subsets and how we shall see now. So, take that subset that we have already taken x here and from that just forget this x n element for now and consider this set x set. And we have now made a clear assumption that if you give me a set with n minus 1 elements, I already know that it will have 2 to the power n minus 1 subsets. Now, what is x at the end of the day? x is nothing but x hat union with this singleton set x. So, what I am claiming is that total subsets of x is 2 to the power n. But what I know already is that 2 to the power n minus 1 is the total subset of x hat. So, what I have to do now? So, first of all I have to know that if I have lined up the subsets of x, x hat. So, first let me, uh, what I have done is let me line up x1, x2, dot, 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 xn minus 1. So, with them I have to add the single, so these, those are the singleton sets. So, of each individual elements. So, now I have to add that singleton set only 1 to xn and then I have to add all subsets of the form say x1, x2, x2, x3, x4, x5 that kind of six, x3, x3, x1 and so on. So, all kinds of elements of, of this form xi, xj of xn and so on. So, first xi how many such singleton elements would be there? n minus 1 and with each of them you add x n. So, you will still remain with n minus 1 in such elements. So, that is n minus 1 choose 1 which is n minus 1. Now, if you want to form a subset like this where you have subsets of having only 2 elements from the set x hat and now you are adding x n with them. Basically, what, what are you doing is the following. So, you had the subsets of x hat. All these subsets of x hat are also subsets of x. So, now to obtain the subsets of x, you just have to make new sets by putting in x and with them. So, that is exactly what we are doing. Now, you take all these elements with a subset with two elements and add with them x n. Right. So, so, we basically what are the additional elements that you are creating, right. So, that is that is the kind of thing. So, what is the addi additional elements that you are creating? So, along with this you, you add this x sense, right. So, how many of them would be there? Of course, here I will keep i strictly less than j, you can take i strictly bigger than j because if you swap i and j's position it does not matter, it, it, it this set remains same. So, out of n minus 1, I choose 2 elements and club them with x n. Okay. So, once I do that, I have to choose n minus 1 choose 2 or n minus 1 c 2 such elements and then such so many subsets will come. So, basically finally, out from n minus 1, I have to choose n minus 1 element. Basically, I will have the set x set and add x, x with it and for which we we will get back the set x and anyway I have phi already in that set. So, phi is taken in, phi is not ready, it is separate, it is already there. So, I do not have to additionally count phi. So, 1 plus the first sets, this, these are these sets, this will come in now additionally. Then these kind of sets x i x j x n this will come in then n minus 1 c 2 n minus 1 c 3 and n minus choose 1 which will give me x capital x from x hat. 
So if you look at this, this is 1 and n minus 1 choose n minus 1 is 1 and this is just look at this. Look at this expression. If you carefully think about your binomial theorem that you have learned in your high school, this is nothing but 1 plus 1 to the power n minus 1. For example, at this point, it is 1 to the power n minus 2 into 1. Here it is 1 to the power n minus 3 into, uh, uh, here it is 1 to the power n minus 1 into 1, it is 1 to the power n minus 3 into 1 square, which is 1 and so on. So, this is 1 plus 1 to the power n minus 1, so 2n minus 1. So, 2n minus 1 are the additional subsets that you have now formed. So, which you now add with the remaining subsets they were there. So, you add 2n plus 1 plus 2n plus 1 is 2 into 2 to the power n minus 1. So, 2 to the power n minus 1 plus this subset. So, 2 into 2 to the power n minus 1. So, here it is 2 to the power 1. So, you know how to calculate the index. You sum the indexes up. So, you will get 2 to the power n. And voila, as the friends say, we are done. And gradually, we will see some more funny thing with the binomial theorem. So, let us have fun. We will more interesting things to do uh, as we go on. And thank you for listening. If there is any difficulty, please let me know. What I will do is that I will give my Gmail below in the description box. So, if you want to take these notes from me, you please write me an email, I will send it to you. Okay. Thank you very much.